Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Uh, basically, I went as far into this kingdom as I could off camera without doing anything that permanently saves. So I didn't get any moons or purple coins or anything like that, just to get a bit of a preliminary experiment on what I can do. Uh, I'm gonna just take that same route again, just because I thought it was, it was interesting to show how far you can get without doing any permanent things. Uh, so, here you don't have to do this because the door opens, but you can just go up here if you want instead of going through the door. Uh, and then you can just make your way over that power line. You pretty much have to use power lines in this kingdom to get around. Uh, unlike Metro where you can pretty much skip them. I mean, you can skip them, I showed already. Uh, you can get that checkpoint there. I will, I will get the checkpoints this time since I'm on camera. So, whew. Uh Here you don't have to use a Pocchio. It looks like you do, but you don't. Uh, you can just take out these guys. Blop. 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 There we go. Uh, and then just get on top of this, uh, pole here with Bowser's face on it. Just do a backflip. And then cat bounce over this way. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, this... Now, this is where the first, uh, moon that you're supposed to... It's supposed to be mandatory, and it actually is mandatory. Um... It looks like there's no possible way to get past this spot. Uh, I'll get you, get you a better look. Let's get over there. Uh, the way you get the moon is you defeat this uh, fellow here. The moon shows up here, then that opens a bridge and lets you go through those doors. Uh, it looks like there's no way to get to the other side. There is a way to get to the other side. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't help you. So I'll just demonstrate how you do it, and I'll show why it doesn't actually help you to get over there. Uh, so you just go over to this platform, uh, you're gonna activate the notes, but not get them, you just wanna activate them so that you can get that, uh, treble clock out of the way. And you just do a cappy roll jump here. And I messed it up. But you can get onto that ledge, basically. <laughs> if you do it right, which I didn't. Uh, so we'll just give that another shot. I did it first try off camera, it's, you know, let's play as curse, as usual. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't hitting the checkpoints off camera, so it would have been really annoying if I hadn't gotten it first try. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, you just want to stand in this corner. Cappy roll jump. There we go. Easy peasy. Then you can get this Pocchio, which will spawn, even though it looks like it's not working, like it's not loaded or something. It will eventually spawn. And you just plumb up this wall in order to get to the other side of this without getting the story moon. Unfortunately, doing that is not at all useful, because as you can see, there is supposed to be a power line here, and there isn't. Uh, so without this power line here, there's no way we can advance to the next section, because it's up there, and there's, there's no way we can get up there. Uh, so we do have to get the first story moon, uh, and I will. Uh, I'll do that now, just so that we can continue in the normal way. Uh, just hop on down here. So yeah, all you gotta do is just kill this guy. Easy peasy. And the moon will pop up. There we go. <laughs> Again, I have the sound off, so I'm just adding my own effects when necessary. Um, hopefully that was synchronized with the real effect, I can't tell. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so now the door's open, and if you peek through the door, you can see that there's now a power line over there, which will get us up to the next section. Um, there are some glitches you can use to gain height, and maybe climb there, but... One problem is that that doesn't work in this version, it was a 1.0 glitch that got patched. And the other problem is that you need one of the seeds to do that, and the only seed in this kingdom is way, way, way... Uh, over here, I believe. No, yeah, it's just here this area. And there's no possible way to get there from here. Anyway, yeah, there's now a power line here, uh, which you can get into to zap yourself up to here, the next section. Uh, so here there's another moon you're supposed to get, uh, which is a story moon. We're gonna try to skip it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't, but let's see how we go. Um, it's okay to get a couple moon shards, we just won't grab the story moon. Uh, so what you're supposed to do is get the five moon shards, and then you can get up to that door there. So we're going to see if we can get up there without doing the moon shards. Uh, I think we might be able to. Uh, 
Yeah, that looks reachable. Uh, I think there might be like an invisible wall or something because it seemed to bounce me off in a way that didn't make any sense. Let's give that a few tries and see how we do. Um, we can definitely get enough height by the looks of things, so we should be okay. Uh, here you're supposed to use the pocky as you climb along the walls and stuff, but you can just jump around instead. Uh, so yeah, we want to use the triple jump off of this step. Uh, just get to get enough height to start with. Then we do a cap throw. Okay, yeah, we can get up here. That's easy. I'm guessing, yeah, same problem. The power line, which would be here, is not here. So the fact that we're up here doesn't really help us. Um, so again, yeah, we have to do the moon first in order to activate that power line, which will get us to uh, over there, actually, where the shop is. And yeah, there's no way we can get there without having the power line on this side. So that's a bit sad. Um, and yeah, there's no glitch we could use even if we had 1.0 to climb up there. And we don't have it anyway, so yeah, we got some problems. Oh well. Um, anyway, we can make our way over here, grab all the moon shards. Um, and that will unlock the next uh, big chunk. I think it gets a bit less linear once we've gotten a bit further ahead. The first couple of areas are the more single pathy of the of this kingdom, which is I think I think is a bit annoying because most of this game is very non-linear and exploration-y, and just this this one kingdom is is very single pathed. Um, I mean, Steam Gardens had a similar sort of thing going on, but it didn't require you to do any of the story moons, whereas this one does, so, you know. Break that open, there we go. And that's all the moon shards we need. I don't know if the music's at that point right now, I can't hear it. <laughs> so yeah, the door opens. You can see there's now a power thing there that we can use. It wasn't there before. Uh, oh yeah, the big brutal battle. All right, that's the next one. Uh, we'll see how we c if we can skip this. We c well, we might be able to. Um. So here's the shop. Uh, you can you can buy an outfit here if you want. Uh, you can also capture a statue if you want. A couple other things you can do here. But for the moment, we're going to head off this way and try to skip the big brutal battle. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is stand on these two uh, big circular things to fight the two brutals, uh, and then a bridge will form to get across this huge, this uh, ginormous gap here. But we might be able to get across the gap. Without the bridge? Maybe. Maybe. It looks really, really far, but let's see how we go. Ooh. Okay, there's some sort of invisible wall, I think. It looks like it was pushing us back. Which is sensible. Um... Okay, there's a checkpoint right here, so let's give that a couple more shots before we, before we, oh, right, whoops. I accidentally walked into where the Brutals are. <laughs> uh, I think this is the Harriet fight on this side? Yes. Yeah, let's just get the Harriet fight over with, since we've gone into it. Damn it. I'm not very good at doing Harriet fast, which is annoying. I believe I've mentioned before, all the Brutals can be done faster in various ways. I'm just not very good at it in this case. There we go. Pop. I'm 
doing okay, I guess. Um, okay, he's gonna pull out the big ones, and then I just gotta bop them back at her. Ooh. And that's the Harry fight then. Alright, we actually have a little bit more height from the top of these platforms, so we might be able to use that to our advantage, but I think the distance we lose compared to over there probably means it's not that helpful. Uh, let me just see. How far does Cappy go? Uh, pretty much the distance of these platforms. So, let's, let's, let's see here. Yeah, there's definitely an invisible wall there. You saw Mario just sort of slide straight down in mid-air. That there's an invisible wall. I don't know if there's a gap in it, like there is in um first moon skip, but there's definitely a wall there, which is annoying. Alright, well, let's do the other half of this fight. So you don't need that many hats. I know this is the hat game, but you are not Mario. You do not deserve many, many hats. Um, since I can't hear the game, I can't really hear which one is the one with Topper in it, so... <laughs> you can actually hear the noise he makes as he goes, through, goes along inside his hat, but I can't hear that noise, obviously, because I can't hear any noise. I don't think there's any visual indication, so that's a bit of a limitation of, of that particular part of the game, that there's no way to detect that if you happen to be deaf. Hmm. Another one of those accessibility things that they didn't really think about, I guess. I suppose you could carefully try to spot the one it is when, when he first goes into the hats, instead of, you know, afterwards, but... There we go, that's done. <sighs> okay, so yeah, that's both fights done. And yeah, there's definitely some sort of invisible wall over there stopping you from just jumping across. Which is sad, because I'm pretty sure you can make that with a Cappy Roll Jump. Like, that distance, I'm pretty sure if there weren't a wall there, we could get over there. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Mmm, does not likely. Oh, uh, you can probably grab one of these flags, like the other ones. Yes, you can. Does that help? Maybe. Mmm, doesn't look like it, though. I don't think we can get enough height from where we are to get up there. Mm. That's really disappointing. Uh, is there another a higher ledge we can maybe get to? It doesn't look like it. Looks like that's pretty much the lowest one. So I guess you just have to capture Pocky to climb the wall. Uh, let me think. Yeah, there's a bunch of other, like, gimmicky thingies on the sides that you can go to, but none of those get you further up. Um, like, uh, these two buildings on the side here, once you've got the, um, moon rock opened, you can get over there to get to some sub-areas, which then lead back up to the top, I think. But we can't open the moon rock because we haven't even done the story yet. Uh, so I guess you just have to grab a Pocchio and climb up that way. It's kind of weird that there's no other way up. Like a, you know, super player sort of thing. Hmm. Maybe if I get a bit higher, I might be able to spot something. So let's let's climb up a little bit and see what we can find. More of a, like a better vantage point sort of thing. I don't think I can see anything though. Sure the only way up is with these Pokios. Just gotta climb a bit farther. That's right, Gabby. Um, I think from here we might be able to do a triple jump here. Uh, let me just hit this checkpoint. You, you're supposed to, you know, climb up this bit of the wall using more Pokios, but I think we can probably triple jump over here, right? Yes. Oh, that that will work. I just messed it up. So let's just fall in the poison. Like so. There we go. Um, and that gets us around to this wall, which is where the seed is, which we can use to climb the rest of the way. So, you do have to use a Pokio to climb the outer wall, but not the inner wall, I guess? I think that's right. Yeah. Unless there's some other way that, to get up that I'm not spotting. Um, a bunch of slingshots and stuff show up later, but they're not here yet, and I don't think there's one far enough down anyway, so that wouldn't actually help. Uh, let's go grab the seed. Actually, the music here is different. This is it'll be playing the um center music now because we're in the, in the castle center. I forget how that one goes. <laughs> so yeah, you can use this to just jump up here rather than actually go. Uh, to the to the um, area that the beanstalk is supposed to take you. Um, but yeah, that's about all I can I can think of to skip. Uh, let's see, let's see. Well, while well, I'm up here, I can take a look and see if there's maybe another ledge or something. Uh, is there another way to get up there? Maybe if you jump on top of these little spiky things? I think they're a bit too tall, though. Like, you can stand on them, as you can see, but I don't think there's any way to get onto them from from below. Because they're so much higher up, and you can't, obviously can't wall jump off them because they're spiky things. Oops. <laughs> That wasn't quite what I had in mind. Um, just fall back up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this kingdom is very restrictive in the paths you're allowed to take to get to places, which I think is a little frustrating. Like compared to most of the game, which gives you a lot of freedom, alternate ways to do things, there's a lot of restriction here in terms of what you can do and what you can't. Um, and, you know, if you pull off a cool skip, like I did a couple of times, it doesn't necessarily help you very much, because the power lines don't spawn until you've done things. Uh, I think I'm probably going down here, though, right? What the? Oh! 
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there's supposed to be a door here. But I guess it doesn't spawn through down the story. Yeah, there's nothing on that wall either. Wow, all of this area isn't filled in at all until you've done the story moons. That's weird. Uh, there's supposed to be a bunch of spinies and stuff here. And then you can climb up that wall using Pocchio. Um, and at the top there's a treasure room, but none of that's here yet. That's weird. I should check some of the other rooms that are supposed to be here that aren't. Or that probably aren't. They might be here. Who knows? Uh, so let's walk back up to the top so we can have a better look around. Alright, so on this side, there's supposed to be a gap in the spikes here, so you can jump down through a bunch of coin rings just here, to land here. None of that's here yet. Um, there's also supposed to be one of those smashy ogre people on this ledge here, uh, and when you defeat it, that door opens. So, that door obviously won't be able to open because we don't have a smashy ogre to defeat. Uh, these are here, so you can get those already. Yeah, there's a weird amount of stuff that just isn't loaded yet. I, I didn't realise it worked that way. This kingdom's more linear than I anticipated. <laughs> I mean, I already knew it was going to be linear, but this linear? Jeez. Uh, it's a bit much. Bop, bop. Ba, 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 ba. That's the wrong music for this area, but it's stuck in my head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Well, I guess at this point, all we can really do is just finish off the kingdom. Um. I'll I'll try fighting the Mecha Brood without a Pocchio. I've never done it before, so this might go horribly. Uh. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, there's also supposed to be a Lakitu over there, and clearly that's not there yet. And wow, actually, there's also supposed to be some ledges at the back there. Like, one in that corner and one in that corner over there. And they're not there yet either. Um, the gates are already glowing like it's supposed to be, so a few things are already the right way. But a bunch of stuff just, just isn't the way it's supposed to be yet. It's weird. Um, I guess stuff just doesn't load straight away? Weird. Uh, can I cap the roll jump here as... Um, maybe. I feel like that, um, that lip there is gonna get in the way if I try to do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think a long jump is enough, though, because we're so much higher up. Yeah. So we can get this moon already. I think the intended way is to go to those side platforms and use the slingshots, but they're not there yet, so we can't. Uh, I just want to heal up, so I'm gonna get a moon to do that. Uh, there we go. You do need to get at least two minor moons in this kingdom. Uh, I did think they weren't necessary, but you have to get eight moons and there's only six uh, total story moons. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I got that in the wrong order. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that just hasn't loaded. It's weird. Anyway, uh, we're just going to ride our way back up here. Um, can we go on the statue's nose yet? I can't tell. Let me have a quick look. Uh, yes we can. You can see the sparkles just here. Bam! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's all the moons we need. Let's go try to do the Mecha Brood. Me Mecha Brutal. Mecha Friend. Uh, without... Hang on, let me just see what happens if I go around this way. Instead of talking to... Oh, okay, as soon as you go to the middle, it activates the cutscene. Regardless of whether you actually go towards where Bowsette's standing or not. Um, so yeah, this cutscene is just a little bit of a showdown, and then Bowsette just leaves. Goes to the moon. Up on the moon, we'll fall and swoon. Just lead the way, and I'll follow you. Bomb. 
Okay, then we get to fight the Mega Brutal over here in the little arena. So yeah, there's no way to get over here before the battle starts because the cutscene fight is no matter whether you're standing in the middle of that previous roof or on the side, which is a bit silly. Anyway, uh, Mecha Brood. Basically, uh, what you can do is, if you look closely at the legs on the Mecha Brutal, you can see it has little, little bumps on the side. You can stand on those little bumps as Mario, and I believe you're supposed to climb up the legs. Uh, by standing on the bumps in order to get on top of the of the mecha. Uh, I'm not really sure what the best way of doing this is though, because yeah, there's there's a couple of bumps in in a, in a row. Um, so the legs are starting to flash for some reason. Um, well, I can get into this one a bit more easily. Oop. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, well, that wasn't quite what I had in mind, but okay. Uh, uh. Yeah, I don't really know how to do this. I've never actually seen this strat performed, so I don't know how the first part works. <laughs> Probably should look it up, but I won't. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm getting smart bombed here. Um... So yeah, the only way to get it to lean down so you can climb up is by bombing it, uh, which you're supposed to use a Pokio for. Uh, I believe you can just lure the Pokios into poking uh, the spot you need them to poke rather than actually capturing them, but that still counts as using a Pokio, so not not okay in, in, this, in this particular situation. <laughs> okay, so we get onto the first bump, and then we... What do we do after that? I don't get it. <laughs> The bums are basically stacked on top of each other. Um, what a boop boop. Uh, that's gonna respawn us here, yeah. Uh, we'll skip the cutscene. It'll probably replay the cutscene, yeah. So let's skip it. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure the little side bumps are what you're supposed to use, but I don't really get how. Ugh, silly Pocchio, getting in my way when I'm trying to do a triple jump. Thanks, Cappy. Um, I'm not, I'm not doing that this time. Um, but thank you for your suggestion. Hmm. The thing is, when the legs start glowing, that's because they're about to launch you away by the looks of things. So you have to be quite quick in order to climb up there by the looks of things. But I'm not sure exactly what it is you're supposed to be doing quickly. Um... <laughs> ah! Okay, hang on. Hang on. Where's my Peach Amiibo? Let's just get some more health to work with. <laughs> So yeah, you wanna wanna get a triple jump in by the looks of things to try to gain some height first. Then you can do a cap bounce. Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, look this up. <laughs> just a moment. Birdless Mecha Brutal. I don't know if you can hear me typing. You might be able to hear me typing. Uh, let me see. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, it's actually different music here again, and it's really good, but I can't hear it, so I've still got the other music stuck in my head instead. Okay, so I found a tutorial video, which I hate. I prefer, like, some text and screenshots, but this is what people do. Um, uh, okay, someone's clearly talking, and I can't see what they're doing while they're talking because I don't have any sound. Uh, let me just skim ahead a bit. That's using Bokyo. Okay, okay, hang on. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So you're not you're not aiming for the bumps. Um, if you look at the the legs here, you can see that they've got like a knee that you can jump on. So you want to go for the knee, <laughs> um, and climb onto that part because there's a lot more room by the looks of things around that part. Um, it seems trickier though to stay there because of the way their legs are moving. Um. Maybe it's doable. I don't know. Um, and you have to, after each brutal defeat, you actually have to um, do a tricky cappy jump in order to get back onto the Mecha Brutal before it, you know, leaves. Okay, um, I'm guessing I want to do like a backflip off the knee once I'm up there, but the timing is, seems to be quite precise. Wrong music. Oh, okay, so I'm aiming for that spot. Alright. Alright, so yeah, it's the knee, but it's, it's a bit higher up than where I'm aiming. Uh, you can see that there's like a little, like, ridge above the top, like, the kneecap, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how to describe the anatomy of a Mecha Brutal. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see that, like, there's the, the, the two, um, parts with the little, uh, like, orangey circles on them. Uh, you can see that the top one has a bit of a ledge on top of it. You can stand on that. So that's what I'm aiming for. If I can figure out how to get up there, which I can't. Uh. Yeah, I, I clearly should have practiced this off camera, but you had to get to the end of the kingdom, and I couldn't have done the other stuff if I'd already been to the end of the kingdom, so. Yeah. Hmm. Something I'm missing here, clearly. Let me just rewind a bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna roll. Caps row. Doesn't really help me much. Okay, here we go. Ground pound jump, cap bounce. No, uh, that didn't, that didn't do anything. I don't know what the point of that was. Hmm. I'm guessing it's a timing thing, but I can't see exactly what the real timing is. <laughs> okay, okay. So you have to do a ground pound jump, uh, and then cap bounce. Uh, basically, you want you want to stand near one of the legs and do a ground pound jump, and then a cap bounce over to the other leg. Take that. Uh, so, so sort of like here, and then over to here, and then you can do a bit of a wall jump thing here, and yeah, like that. Uh, and then I can. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, so now we should be able to go. Lump. And then you can cap bounce to get back on top, like this. Can you hit those with cappy? Or do you have to... Hmm. I think you have to use a ground pound.
Hey, hold still. I'm trying to hit you. <laughs> ah. Okay, so that sort of worked. <laughs> I got I got a couple I got a couple brutals. <laughs> uh, now they have the invincible legs, which I can't touch. So I need to wait for that to wear out before I can climb on the legs again. Obviously. Um. Let me just stop this video because it's I don't need it running. There we go. So this is sort of working. Um, okay, there. Legs are back to normal now, so I should be able to get leg climbing again. Oh, oh no, the stomping. No, oh, not the stomping. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I think the legs are in a position that means that maybe what I was doing before won't work now. I don't know. Oh, yep, that's working, that's working. Oh, oh god, oh god. Okay, so that will still work, I've just gotta be real quick. Yeah, like that, to get up to here, then you wanna get over to the edge nice and quick. Oh no! Alright, but yeah, that will work, I've just gotta be better about it. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, run away from the stomping, 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 stomping. Stomping, stomping, stomping. There we go, stomping, stomping. And you can do a ground pound jump, throw Cappy, bounce off Cappy, wall kick off the off the side of the leg, jump. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can still get up. Like the bumps on the side are gone, but the ridge I was actually getting onto is still there, so I should be able to ascend the same way I was doing before. I'm pretty sure. Ugh, the bunk sent me too far backwards. Unlike before when it wasn't sending me as far backwards. <sighs> Unfortunately, um, the amount of time I have to do this with is much tighter than it is than it was before because it kept, they keep stomping around and stuff. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh. Gotta wait for it to happen again. Okay, so the spin puts out the whirling death donuts. Uh, then you gotta dodge the whirling death donuts. Then the stomping. Uh, when the stomping stops, you have time to uh, get hit by a whirling death donut. Oh, there we go. Okay. Get up there, yes. Ah! Oh, it's close. It was very close, but it wasn't wasn't close enough. Oh no, my health! Oh no! Run away! <laughs> Oops. Uh, not quite what I had in mind, I didn't really mean to hit that button, but okay. It's kind of a bug, I think, that you can't actually pause to use amiibos, because... yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I suppose that's just to stop it from being overpowered, but it is already overpowered, so whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stumpy, stumpy, stump. Okay, uh, just watch out for the death donuts. Yep, there we go. Said to watch out for the death donuts, Mario. You didn't watch out for the death donuts. Okay, there we go. We're back. We're back. Uh, it's gonna start glowing and then it's gonna fling us. Do you wanna do a quick, 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 quick cap dive like this? Oh god, the spinning. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh god, <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> yeah, you're obviously supposed to use a Pocchio. Um, and doing it without one is, is significantly harder. <laughs> I, I imagine it's much faster, which is why speedrunners do it, but it's, it's much harder. <laughs> I'm glad I sort of know how to do it now. It's kind of, it's pretty cool, but it's also very hard. Uh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ugh, it's too easy to fall off that little ledge there. <laughs> okay, let's run away from the death donuts. There we go. Oh my goodness. Stompy, stompy death donut. 
I wish you ground pound the death donut. It's kind of weird that you can't. That would make things easier. Okay, we're up. Okay. Okay, let's just... Okay, one more, one more. Oh god. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. <laughs> That's it! Oh my gosh! Yes! <laughs> oh wow, that was really hard. Oh wow. Okay, uh, so that's two experiments in Bowser's Castle. I pretty much skipped every story moon that can be skipped. Which is none of them, but you know, I, I skipped them to the extent that they can be skipped. And then I got them. Uh, and then I did the Mecha Brutal fight without using a Fakio, and I feel good about it, because that was really cool. <laughs> uh, it took me a while, but I had fun, so that's what matters. <laughs> I think my timing was wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, we got two moons on the way, as you remember. Uh, we got one from the sign thingy, and we got one from something else. Uh, anyway, we have to chase after Bowser by going to the moon. Um, I think you can probably guess what I want to experiment with in, on the moon, but we won't do that right now. Uh, basically, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time... Up on the moon, we'll twirl and swoon. Just lead the way, and I'll follow you. I'll throw my hat in the ring, because you're the one. A miracle in three dimensions. Flow the brick path straight to my heart. And we'll grab the flag together. The fireworks are gonna start. <laughs> God, I love that song so much. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!